President Bakune is traveling the Middle East to boost economic diplomacy. Today, she held talks with the United Arab Emirates Crown Prince as she is aiming to keep up the momentum in their strategic partnership. Our Chayusan follows this report from Abu Dhabi. In a deal signed Thursday, Seoul and Abu Dhabi agreed to share halal food technologies and market and certification data. Halal foods are certified according to strict Islamic dietary guidelines, and its global market size is expected to hit $1.6 trillion in 2018. That's some 15 percent of the entire food and beverage market. Sealing this deal paved the way for Korea to develop its own halal certified products, which it anticipates will double its current $700 million halal exports by 2017. It also opens the door for the UAE to bolster its agricultural and food industries in cooperation with Korea, while also giving Korean companies the opportunity to make inroads into the region. We expect to make another big leap in the agricultural industry if Korea enters the Middle East with high-quality halal and agricultural products. On the cultural front, the two sides will set up the Gulf region's first Korean cultural center in Abu Dhabi and push for joint development of cultural contents. This is in response to a growing Korean population in the UAE and the UAE's interest in Korean culture and language thanks to the popularity of Korean TV dramas and K-pop. Seoul and Abu Dhabi also agreed to upgrade their collaboration in healthcare, oil field development and infrastructure. Forging a nuclear cooperation deal in 2009, the UAE became Korea's first strategic partner in the Gulf region. And President Buck's office says the leaders of the two sides met three times in the past year alone, which goes to show how committed they are to the partnership. Choi Yusan, Arirang News, Abu Dhabi.